the most broken people. Can be great leaders. Wakanda Forever, it was such an emotional and uh, and thrilling watch. I think fans are are going to be taken on quite a journey uh, when they get to see the movie in a couple of weeks. Um, Ryan, for you and the cast, you know, right off the top, how did you want to sit about honoring Chadwick um, with this movie? Yeah, th through the work. I think um, we wanted to honor Chad by doing work that was honest, um, work that was ambitious, um, work that felt truthful and inspirational. Um, you know, so we, we just wanted to, we wanted to honor him, man. Like, like uh, through 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 the way that we got to meet him, you know, he was a guy who was working all the time. Like the only way that that I was gonna ever had a chance to meet him, I think, was would be to work with him, you know, um, kind of meet him where he was at and where he was going. And uh, I think I'm, I'm thankful, and all of us uh, are, are thankful that 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 we got the opportunity to. And I think, you know, the best way to honor him was through the, the process of making something that was truthful to us. I remember seeing a headline that you almost wanted to quit movies uh, after his death. Um, Ryan, how did you wind your way back to it how, uh, and, yeah. and come back to this world? I mean, I think that I, I was in shock. Um, and, and when you, you know, the, the body, the psyche responds to shock in in, in different ways, but, but um, you know, was, 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 was somewhat consistent as you almost kind of become like catatonic, you know, like, uh, and I think that, that, that's what that was more a symptom of. Like, like, um, uh, I didn't like how I was feeling. Um, I didn't like how much it hurt. Namor is such an interesting choice for the villain, the antagonist in the movie. How'd you settle him on him? I think, uh, settling on Namor as an, as an antagonist for this film was, you know, it was fairly easy. I would say like, like if you, if you're familiar with, um, the, the publishing runs that that all the great writers have, have contributed to 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 T'Challa and, and Wakanda's lexicon, um, you know Namor is kind of he really pops. You know uh, uh, his, his conflict with T'Challa and with Shuri and and, and and his conflict with Wakanda at large. Uh, you know it's, it's some of the more interesting things that you'll read in uh, in, in in the in the publishing run. So so it was he was a character that I didn't think was 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 um. Contractually, legally, I don't, I don't think he was a possibility when I first when I first got the job, um, and, and, and the studio was 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 kind of like settled on um, on, on uh, a film that that would deal with Claw and Killmonger as antagonists, and I thought I thought that was a great idea, so so we went that we went in that direction, but but Namor was someone who who I was always thinking about, you know, um, and what's interesting about him is he he's one of the uh, he's one of the oldest characters in terms of publishing, you know, he's been around since the '30s. Uh, but but strangely enough, there's been no um, uh, representation of him in cinema, you know, I, I, either either in film or or on television. So it's like a very rare uh, a very rare opportunity that I didn't want to I didn't want to pass up, you know. Uh, once once the, the the legal got worked out and then he became a possibility. I'm a Marvel fan. I'm having so much fun reading all about all the Easter eggs on Reddit. Um, <laughs> Ryan, do you go, do you go in on there and, and look at some of that stuff? I don't, uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't like, like I, I think, I think that, the, um, I think that, the, the you know, my, 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 my personal, my personal relationship with the internet is that, is that it's a, it's a, a little bit of a double edged sword. If one side is like positive reinforcement and motivation and the other side is, is, uh, Stuff that's like unhealthy for for a creator, um, you know. I think it's a double edged sword. I think one 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 edge is like longer than the other one. You know what I mean? Like like the the if you were to imagine that analogy, you know, I think that that um that that it can be dangerous to 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 get in there and read some of that stuff. Sometimes it's um you know my experience is sometimes that's unhealthy for for me. You know, um especially while while we're in the process of of uh of, of, of uh delivering the work or completing it, and then even in in the um. Even in the weeks uh, immediately after, you know, in the months immediately after, you know, putting it out, putting it out to the world, um, I think that uh, you know it's a lot of love out there, you know, but 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 um, I think that the that the the, the stuff that like the opposite of love that, that travels a little faster, you know, on the internet it can it can it can, 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 can you, you can you can kind of hear it a little louder, you know, so so I try to I try to keep keep as, as much a distance as I can. But uh, have you seen some cool stuff on there? I don't, I don't know. Tell tell me what you. 
what you saw. <laughs> it's about people trying to draw connections um, to certain other uh, Marvel characters that they hope maybe appear in the film. Oh wow! Uh, as well as <laughs> as well as things down the line. Oh, copy um, that. Copy that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do want to throw a name at you. The first thing that comes to your mind, Doctor Doom. Oh yeah, I, th I think he's a uh, an incredible character in publishing, man. Like like um, you know, he's one of the, he's one of the big ones, you know. Uh, and unlike unlike Namor, there's been several different representations of him in in in, uh, in in film, you know. Um, so so I think that's what that's what excited me the most about Namor was that 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 there there hadn't been any representations, like he didn't have any 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 baggage of any other actors or any other performances or any other movies, you know. It was just publishing for Namor. Um, I, I think um, I think Doom was a little different when it comes to that, but 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 man, what a what an incredible character, man. Like I think you know, he, he he's like often. He's like often in uh, uh, people's people's list of like favorite you know characters overall as opposed no not even just not just villains so I think um, I, I would understand people people wanting to see uh, Doom represented. Show them who we are.